Hello and welcome, this is K9. Uh, I'm going to try and play through the uh, Sansolini for you. Need to take out the officers too. Sansolini's the first mission. If you've never seen it before, I'll walk through it as if you've never seen it before. I haven't played for about a week, so this is uh, it's going to take me a few minutes too. Uh, I'll go through the video and, and speed things up where I, where I can find them. Uh, just keep in mind that selecting your weapons, number one is your rifle, number two is your... Uh, uh, submachine gun, your SMG, and number three is usually your pistol. And I usually, if I'm running somewhere, if I'm have the likelihood of being surprised, I'll usually run with my uh, submachine gun in hand. Uh, anything that's painted gold, you can usually climb. And as we come up here to the top, keep in mind your E key. We'll do close quarters combat. Close quarters combat. Stay out of his, uh, stay out of his um, direct line of sight until the last minute. Get to where you need to be. And if you need to close the distance quickly, you can hit your W key and hit your Shift key, and you'll run. Close that distance quickly. Then hit your E key. And with every body in this game, you don't always come in with everything you have Can't maxed out. Anything else. You don't always come in with your supplies maxed out, so uh, looking around your environment for little things laying around like this, getting up next to them will sometimes uh, give you things that you need like bandages, extra ammo, that kind of stuff. Uh, the other thing you want to know is the fact that uh, you want to uh, take a look at your environment. You have to do your own recon. Um, Although the mini-map in the lower left-hand side does give you some highlights on your targets, holding down your F key, let's see your F key, your B key in this game, ah, binoculars, I was confusing that with another another game I play. And also through the binoculars, you'll you'll see that that um, a block and tackle that's holding up those cannon is highlighted red. Your binoculars will also uh, highlight soft targets for you. But while your mini map will give you some indication sometimes of what's ahead, it really pays to do your own recon so that you can look, find, and mark mark your own targets so that you know where things are before you get yourself into a situation. I believe he's the only one. Now we could take him out with the rifle. Right mouse button. Uh, if you're just starting the game, I don't think you have a scope that will zoom. But if you then hit your spacebar, you get a reticle, and when that reticle goes red rather than gold, you've got a target. And he's behind the wall. So we'll try this from a different vantage point for you. I'll have to jump it. Tall weeds, tall bushes are your friend, and that high pitched ring sound you just heard means you are in cover. There we are. And. Good shot. Okay, now there's not a whole lot of people around. You do not start this game with silenced weapons, as you can see. And we've got a, uh, a space to clear over here. And we're going to do that with our space bar. As you get close, you want to tap your space bar. And you will jump. That takes a little getting used to. That's not a that's not a no-brainer. You want to actually experiment with that to see how this game handles that one. And the cannons just gave way. Uh, what they want you to do is actually shoot that block and tackle, which is, if you remember, was highlighted red. You can shoot that with your rifle break it and it'll fall down on... Oh, I guess it didn't come down, but I can show you that. Tell you what, let's do that from 
above the block and tackle. <laughs> How's that sound for smart? Just to show you how that works. You can do this from distance, but I'll do it from right here. And that, of course, can drop on whatever is below, and it can show you what the target is. Take a look around for things that you don't have. Uh, there's ten rifle ammo. Trip mine, bandage, some more rifle ammo. Here's a crate. I can hold E, search crate, see if I come up with something interesting. Pistol Different ammo, stick grenade. Pace to keep your eyes open. And my Springfield, I fired a couple shots from it, so I'm going to hit my R key to reload. While I'm at it, check my Thompson. 30 is maxed. 7 is maxed on my 1911. And I'm walking, so I'm holding my Thompson. Up we go. These are probably the most popular bushes in the game. Walk into them, hit your C key to crouch, hold your C key to go prone, and in this position, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it's pretty difficult to see you. In fact, I've had these guys actually walk almost on top of me and uh, not be able to see me until they were literally almost on top of me. Again, checking to see if there's anything I can pick up. Seem to be good for now. Crouch to get through there, C key. Uh, you do not move very fast when you're crouched in this game. Tower looks like a good vantage point. Again, that high-pitched rings me meaning uh, the high-pitched ring means you are in cover. And if you're trying to move like this, this is one of the annoying things. It's just you don't move fast at all when you are crouched. So, if you're moving, you are either standing up and moving forward, or you know, C key plus your um, shift button. I don't know if you saw that, but... Those little indicators, right there, they're black, and they will eventually go yellow, and then they will go red. And those are the indicators that somebody's looking at you. you wanna, when you hear that sound, you want to pay attention. So what I can do from here is I can... Uh, they're introducing you to the point that you are a sniper. So, again, B key for binoculars, and you want to spend some time reconning this area. What's with the camera? Marking your targets makes them easier to find, even behind obstacles. And that low pitch sound you just heard is my binoculars picking up intel, which you can read on the right-hand side of the screen. I can't say that I've ever found that interesting or useful. I hardly ever pay attention to it. But here's what marking will do for you. Even though this guy is largely concealed, I can see where he's at. A uh, bit of a cheat, and I think on the highest level you don't get to do that. Marking is off, but... Um, I just marked the camera. That is one of our mission tasks. Oh, if you want to look at your mission task, hit your M key for map, and then your tab key, and it shows you what we're after on this run. I got a checkpoint here to clear. Some Nazis manning that. They are uh, doing a propaganda thing around the island where there are cameras here, here, and there. We need to get to them and destroy them. There are four officers on the island, and there's a general called Schmidt. So there are uh, five key targets on the island, namely four officers and General Schmidt. And in the meantime, we're going to kill a lot, of, a lot of Nazis. So once again, your primary objectives are your tab key, and you get to that on your map screen, which is your M key. Notice that um, soft targets are highlighted red by my binoculars. I could take out that truck by hitting the gas tank right here. 
eventually it would blow up if I hit the engine. And things like fuel cans and ammo boxes also blow up when hit with your rifle. And we're going to keep on collecting intel here. And the planes overhead do provide you sound cover. That indicator in the top center of your screen it means that your shot would have been masked by the sound of the engines, which is a nice stealthy way to make a shot. Well, hey there, fella. You're well, on my target list. Well, look at that. And that's why you want to spend some time doing some intel so that you know where your targets are. Just checking to see if my, I happen to have picked up any uh, suppressed ammo. And of course, a, uh, a weapon isn't suppressed by the kind of ammo you put in it. Um, but that's how they do it in this game. Now the planes going overhead are more common once you get into the zone. So what I'm going to do is I am going to head for a different vantage point. I'm going to head for a different vantage point, work the island from the left hand side and see if I can get some more planes overhead to mask my sound, the sound of my shots more often. And I'll show you how that works as soon as I'm done doing the recon here. Okay, we're probably going to head for that bush in the hopes not to be spotted. Okay, uncrouch, hit your C key, W and shift to run. Top dead center. Sound masked. That's what you want. I had to do that quick because the airplanes don't stay overhead for very long. And as long as you've got that top dead center sound masked icon, you can get a shot off and have these guys not notice. And the farther you get into the island, the more the planes go overhead. We're going to see if we can actually light up this next tower over here and work from there. And by the way, that's one of your collectibles. And that's something called a baited shot. He's baited and distracted by the guy that's down in front of him, and he's going to hold still for a while so you can get a shot off. However, I don't want to take that shot because it's going to draw attention to me. For the sound masked. Headshot, sound mask. That's what you, you want. Stealthy. That. The only problem on this section of the island is that uh, that doesn't happen too often with the planes overhead. So it's a pretty slow game um, trying to stay stealthy. Once you get better at this and you're pretty good at taking quick shots, lining everything up pretty quick, uh, you can attract as much attention to yourself as you want. And it gets a little exciting with guys rushing you and picking them off. <laughs> you can see that in our mini-map. The guy that's got a question mark over his head is, is marked, which means he's got a little pointer on him rather than just a circle. He's also yellow, which means he is uh, activated. While it's quiet, doing some more recon, finding some more targets. You'll also find targets like this. Ammo box will explode.
headshot sound masked. Got to be quick with those sometimes. Most, uh, the thing that drives me crazy sometimes is the fact that I'll be looking through my binoculars and it'll look like this. And I'll get, uh, I'll get the sound masking coming in and I'll forget that I'm on binoculars and, and not looking through my scope, which is my right mouse button rather than my B key, and I'll get the two confused. What's even worse is when you are looking through your scope and you want to mark something and you actually hit your left mouse button and fire a shot and draw all kinds of attention to yourself rather than marking them through your binoculars. That's not cool. Headshot sound masked. Once we get this area cleared over to my left, we'll uh, we'll start using that tower to uh, scope out this area and start dropping targets a little faster. The other thing about shooting guys in this game is if you're far enough away, they have no idea where the shot came from. I usually find that beyond about 150 meters. Although you can get lucky depending on how the game analyzes your surroundings and where the shot came from, etc., etc. Okay, show you this. That item right there is a generator, and if you kick it, or hit it with something other than your rifle, because your rifle will make it explode. If you kick it, it makes a bunch of noise and provides more sound masking. He's going to come down the ladder and we're going to see if we can get to him. Wait till he's distracted. That eh, didn't go as I wanted it to, but it was fine. Notice that generator as it as it puffs and pouts actually provides you sound masking at your location. I don't agree with how that's set up, but that's what it does in this game. I would think if you shot something over here at your target's location, and it was making a bunch of noise, that it would mask your shot better, but that's not how the game is set up. The game is set up to mask the sound of your shot at your own location. So, now that we're at a tower that actually has a generator, and that generator is masking our sound, we're going to start looking at and taking down targets. We're trying to get a shot over that direction. Notice I got sound masking up at the top, I got a target, and no sound masking. Gonna wait, gonna wait, gonna wait. You can only wait so long. Got sound masking again. Headshot, sound mask. Good shot. That is not a clear shot, however, sometimes you can shoot through the trees, which is why you mark them. I don't know if you saw that, maybe you can rewind the video. The reticle, the reticle below the crosshairs, which illustrated my round drop over the distance, went red, even though he was masked by the trees. So that's why you mark your target so you can actually see him.
also uh, note that there's a white dot in the middle of your screen especially when you're zoomed all the way in that'll help you actually zoom in on the right target sound masking Okay, note that I've got a circle on my mini-map, and that was one of the things I was going to say. Check your six every now and then. I've actually got somebody poking around nearby. Who may have heard the shots. And he just found a body. Now, we're lonely enough in this corner of the map that I wasn't too worried about taking that shot, whether there were sun masking or not. This will come in very easy. And notice how far that round is going to drop between here and there. I could take out that barrel and get them both. I got credit for a double kill with the barrel exploding and a uh, explosive kill and I think an environmental kill. I'll take a look real quick at how many shots we've got and just thinning the crowd taking targets of opportunity. Okay, this is a baited kill. That wasn't a clean shot, but... stand out in the open, I'm going to waste you. See, it's not the fact that they're not on alert, but at that distance they have no idea where shots are coming from. When they are walking across your path. <clears throat> Very difficult. If they're walking towards you or away from you. Much easier to get a shot. If you're trying to track them left to right, especially over distance, it's pretty difficult. the trees around the branches. And that was far enough that I just went center mass of the torso and got a heart shot rather than a head shot. Doubt he's going to live through that one either.
was a good headshot. That was one of our officers. Pretty far away while he was moving. Just went for center mass. Okay. I think we've pretty much got all the targets that are easily gotten to from this vantage point. That happens to be the villa where is it General Schmidt is one of our main targets. M key tab General Schmidt. He's up there at the villa somewhere. And notice we are not within range of our coughing and sputtering generator anymore, so we're going to have to pay closer attention to those planes. But every once in a while we can get General Schmidt to come out on that veranda. And when he does, we can take him down from long range. Got another soldier marked. I just went down to a prone position, which as you can see makes me really difficult to see in these bushes. At over 300 meters I doubt they're going to hear where this shot came from. Okay, now, gunshot was heard. In the MIDI map, I just went yellow, so uh, somebody within earshot heard that. And they may send guys to come investigate. Notice it said gunshot heard, but my uh, my mini map, my target is still green. Myself, that that target is still green. There's just not anyone close enough to uh, to care about the gunshot being heard.
These red boxes are important. They've usually got ammo in them of some, site, some type. If you have the time to check them out and the cover to check them out, they usually pay off.
They are currently investigating the last place I was seen, which was the triangle, which is why I changed my position. That was a 45 caliber 1911. Extremely effective at close range. Letter talks about someone called Kessler. Name sounds familiar.
has to deal with this one.
that is the checkpoint cleared. Once I found it. I think that might be the nearest point of egress. Nothing else to find. 